Hey you guys, um, welcome back to day 15 and we are talking about selfishness. Um, I kind of feel like God is trying to turn me into a I don't know about a vegan because they like real, ooh, they real strict, but maybe a vegetarian. Like, um, today I tried the jackfruit. I had a taco. It was good. And I just finished a Morning Star plant-based burger. That was good. Also, Malia in there eating hers. And... I got my shake. I made one earlier, but she about drunk half of it, so I drunk, I made another one. And, you know, I had to give her some of this one, too. Mm. Ooh, this is good. Um, Selfishness. What do y'all think selfishness mean? Not to be selfish towards someone, but to, I think it's more to be selfish with maybe your time. I don't know. I don't know if it's something more than time. But I'ma just say I'ma just go with time for right now. I'm I'm learning. Just like everybody else learning. So, I'm not a master at the Bible. I'm still trying to learn it myself. But, I just want to um, grow together. Learn together. Um, my camera trying to die on me, you guys. I tell you, I should have checked it before I started, but you know me. I just be trying to. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. I know this is so unprofessional, but you know, I don't want to have to start over. Uh, I just need to get it plugged in. There we go. I think I might have to hold it. Oh, drag. Today is a no makeup kind of day because um, I ain't already um, worked out and took my shower. So I really don't feel like putting on makeup just to wash it off right after this video. Um, selfishness. See my, my sewing room, you guys? I'm being selfish with my time because this is what I really want. I want to grow this business. I want to be a great designer. So I have to be selfish with my time right now. Um, and I can't let anybody stand in the way of that because... It took me 29 years to figure out 
my purpose and my talent. Everybody is born with a talent. Everybody has a purpose. Some people know instantly what theirs is and some people like me. It take a while to figure it out. I think it's all about fighting the truth. Um, the ideal of talking to people, telling my story, that frightened me. Yes. So, say hello. Hello. <laughs> so, right now, uh -huh. huh? I don't know the small remote at. I don't know the small remote at. It's not by the TV. It's not in the sofa. You gotta be somewhere in the living room. Look on the side, I'm close scared. to the wall. Well, just stay in here. Come with me. I'm recording, Malia. Shut the people. Oh, my God. I guess I got to take y'all with me real quick. She's scared to go in the living room by herself. I tell you. God did not want you to be selfish towards other people. Like... Um, if somebody need help, I know it's dark in here, and you just don't help them. Malia, the remote right here. She just wanted me to walk in here. But, um, he don't want you to be selfish towards people. If you have the means to help somebody, you should do it. <laughs> Whether it's giving somebody some food or some clothes Ooh. or whatever way you can to help somebody. If it's giving them a place to stay temporarily so that they can get on their feet. But... I know it can be help. It can be scary helping people, cause it's a lot of people out here that take advantage of people that try to help or that have good hearts. Um, I've I've learned how to spot the people that really want help and the ones that's just trying to use you. Um, it took some practice. And I lost some stuff in between, but now I know how to see it. And sometimes if you if you don't never lose, you never know how to grow. So I had to lose a couple times so I can grow. Um sorry for the anger you guys I'm trying to charge the scare. But I'm being selfish right now. Not towards people. Because I don't have a lot. But if I can help somebody with a ride somewhere. Or I don't know if they need a couple of dollars to get on a bus or something. I don't know. If I can do it and it won't hurt me, then I'll do it. But... There are some people that will come to try to distract you when you're trying to get focused. And I had to learn how to be selfish so that they won't distract me or hold me back any longer. Ever since I graduated from high school... I just kind of like floated through life, just working odd jobs and not even living, just 
just here, but not living. And then I went to college because that's what you do at the high school, right? You just go to college. I didn't. I wasn't even even sure what I wanted to go to college for. Crazy thing is, I never really thought about it. I know some kids from elementary school, they be thinking about what they want to be, like a firefighter, doctor, or something. It never crossed my mind what I wanted to do. I don't know if it's because I was so busy. It was kind of like I was an adult as a kid. I was helping my sick mom, making sure she's taking her medicine, going with her to doctors, filling out papers for her, reading documents, just doing all that stuff, and then helping my sister with her kids. So, I feel like I never was really able to just be a kid but I mean it worked out for me now it made me tough made me strong I guess that's why I got the nickname Wonder Woman <laughs> but I don't even think I did anything yet people gave me that nickname and I haven't even done nothing yet I want to do something I don't know what. Like I said, I just like helping people. But God has been teaching me the right way to help people. So that I'm not enabling them. God has been teaching me tools so that I'm not dependent on him. The devil wants you to be dependent on him on him God wants you to be independent so if you have somebody that wants you so dependent on them they holding you back they stunting your growth cause God would never want you to just solely depend on him he wants you to love him but not just want you to call on him every second it's just like being a parent yes you're there for your kid when they little and they helpless and can't really do nothing for themselves but as they get older and you start teaching them things you expect them to do it on their own but if you always doing stuff for them like getting them dressed, tying their shoes, feeding them. How to go learn to feed they sell. What if something happened to you? Now, they don't know how to feed they sell. They don't know how to clothe themselves. They don't know how to go out and get a job. You're studying your growth. So, I've been learning new ways of helping people. If it's giving advice or the steps that I have taken to get past certain things. Um, the only thing that's holding me back now is myself. Like... It's me. I'm holding myself back. My fear of talking to people is holding me back. My fear, not even a fear, but this, I don't know if it's laziness or depression. I don't know. Because when I'm at a job, I can get up every day and go to that job. I won't miss a day, not unless it's like something serious. Like my daughter's sick or something. 
If she ain't sick, I'm going to work every day. But why can't I do that for myself? I'm taking this time out for me to grow me. Doesn't mean I'm being mean to somebody else or turning my back on somebody that might really need help. I'm helping when I can, but I'm taking time out for me to heal myself from the hurt that people have well the hurt that I have allowed because I could blame people but I allowed them to hurt me because the red flags you see it in the beginning you ignore it I ignored it because I wanted to see the good in people Looking at people's potential. So I hurt myself. There's a lot of people out here hurting themselves. They form this thing. This scenario in their mind. I know I've done it a couple times. There's a lot of people that do it. You form this scenario of stuff that's happening. That's not even really happening. You create this feeling. That's not even there and then you hurt yourself and want to blame somebody else so I'm done blaming other people it's my fault I knew I knew those people would hurt me and I still let them in but that's the crazy thing about love everybody's gonna hurt you even the person that loves you the most they will hurt you. Some people do it intentionally. And some do it, you know, they don't do it on purpose. But they hurt you because everybody is raised different. And everybody just think different. So what might offend me might not offend you. And vice versa. So. I'm just. I'm taking this time to heal. So that. The next person. God brings into my life. I won't. Put that hurt on them. I can be able to. Uh, accept what God is trying to give me. Um, I'm also taking this time to be selfish and to so I can fall in love with my craft. Um, I like doing it. It's fun doing it. Like once I get focused, I get lost in it. So I'm trying to fall in love with it so that I'm not just only doing it to just make money. I want to do it because I really enjoy doing it. Which I do. Like, I cut out. I made a pattern and cut it out to make Malia a jacket. To me, that's the part that kind of like... <laughs> It kind of just, it's not the fun part. Cutting out, it takes the longest. Um, I just like sewing. Even that can get frustrating at times, especially when the sewing machine might jam up or something like that. That can get frustrating. But the cutting out, it's just, it's kind of dreadful. So I'm trying to learn how to fall in love with the whole process so that it will show more in the stuff that I make. I'm also taking this time to grow my mind um, and learning the business. I mean, I could be such a great designer, but if I don't know the business, 
I may just end up probably working for somebody like a lot a lot of the designers do cuz they don't know how to survive in the business I'm telling you life is about survival only the strong will prevail you got the prey and you got the hunter It's like, no matter what side you think you own, good or bad, somebody is still the prey and somebody is still the hunter. But there's different type of hunters. Hunters that kill to eat. And then there's hunters that just, they find the enjoyment of just taking out the prey for no reason. I know that sounds kind of dark, <laughs> but it's reality. I'm just, my eyes has been open and my brain has been open. It's crazy the stuff you learn once you get around certain people doesn't mean you gotta be a bad person you just learn how people operate mm -hmm. yeah guys my eyebrows don't grow that's why I be drawing them all <laughs> but um uh oh I'm out um, I'm also taking this time to grow my spirit. I don't want to be that hunter that's just out here hunting. Because sometimes... Most of the time, those people that's just out here hunting, once upon a time, they was a good person. And the world just beat them down to a point they just started hunting for the fun of it. But then there's people that hunt to survive and to help other people survive. I just want to survive, teach my daughter, and teach whoever who wants to learn. You can't bring everybody up. Everybody don't want to be up there. They scared. I ain't scared. I ain't been through a lot. And it's like, what else? <laughs> what else could happen? Might as well go up, right? Shit. Excuse my language. But it's like I'm being homeless a couple times. Not because I was lazy and not working, just situations like car breaking down. No longer able to work or something. Or like trying to help somebody out. And to the point that you neglect yourself. So it's not even like I wasn't trying I was trying just situations anybody can be homeless the richest person on earth can be homeless tomorrow that's just life it's up and down but if that does happen 
I know how to get back up because God has taught me the tools. I took this time to grow my spirit so that I can hear him better. Sometimes it became difficult hearing him. I don't know if it's because it might not be something I want to hear exactly. <laughs> I don't know. But sometimes it's hard to hear him. So. <sighs> Oof, my wrist hurting. I do my best. Being selfish while knowing the difference of selfishness and being selfish with yourself. I'm not telling nobody to go out here and start being mean to people and not help nobody. No, help people if you can. But don't put yourself in a bind that... You just as messed up as them. God didn't put us out here to be servants to other people. We're all equal. Some are just better, I should say, at bringing people together. Whether it's good or bad. Like Trump. He brought all the little racist people together. <laughs> Everybody thought, oh, it ain't no such thing as racism. Oh, he showed y'all. Whether he really racist or not, he showed y'all. They out here. For real. And I don't understand that. How can you hate somebody because of skin color? It's like, I don't know. I guess because I'm the type of person that don't dislike someone unless they give me reason. But there's other people out here that just don't like you. Just because the way you look. I had girls that didn't like me in high school, middle school. For what reason? I have no clue. Because like I told y'all, I was a mute in school. So for somebody to not like me, I'm just like, <laughs> it ain't like I've been talking junk to you because I don't even talk. So what is it? You think I'm pretty? It's crazy how somebody can hate you because they think you pretty and you never said you thought you was pretty. That don't make no sense, right? I guess that's a form of jealousy or envy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just... Oh man. My camera acting crazy, y'all. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on with this camera. <laughs> it might not be the camera. It might not it might just be I don't know, it might be the camera. But it's like the more I do these videos, the more I act like you don't wanna record. I don't know, is that the enemy? I don't even feel like I'm doing nothing. It's not like I just know the word like that. I don't. All I'm doing is sitting here telling y'all my experience of life. Maybe that's a little bit understandable than the Bible. Because that's what the Bible is. It's life events. Like people going through certain situations. 
and telling you how they got out of it. So I guess that's what I'm doing. Certain situations I went through. And I'm telling y'all how I got out of it. So, if you feel empty, feel like you don't know what you should be doing, I challenge you to take this time to be selfish with yourself and be alone with God. He'll open your mind if you allow him, if you open to hearing him. I'm open. It's just, it's a scary world. It's very difficult. And without him, it's just that much harder. Don't get me wrong. Life ain't been, you know, just easy since I started on this journey. It's actually been, it has its moments, I should say. I can say it's good until the transition when it's time to go to the next level. That's when it get hard. It's like the enemy come and try to keep you from getting to the next level. So that's the only time I feel like it get hard. And sometimes God can allow you to go through things. So you can help somebody else. It's not like he out here trying to hurt people. No. But. If it's somebody already going through that situation. And he feel like you're a strong enough leader to survive it. And help somebody else. He will allow you to go through it. So you can help. But some people. They shut down. When they go through those tests and trials. They shut down. And instead of. Learning the lesson. And then. Giving the information to the next person. So they can know how to get to the next level. So they. We all. Can get to the. The land of milk and honey. They shut down. And just keep the information to themselves. And other people get hurt because of it. We're not superheroes. You can't save everybody. But you can at least save one. Just one. We're here to help each other, encourage each other, and uplift each other. So, whatever way I can... I would try to do that. I love y'all. That's my time. It's been 30 and 30. (laughs) With Nikki on. I'll see y'all tomorrow for the next topic. Peace.